So uh, we are leaving Buffy here. We had the volume of the TV set high. We have the fans going in every room, so it's quite loud in here. Hopefully it'll drown everything out for her. We're just about ready to take off. By the way, guys, it is still the 4th of July. The rest of tomorrow's vlog will be today. You'll see it later. It's time for you to go too. Say goodbye. Bye. Tell everybody happy 4th of July too. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> All right. We will see you guys after the intro for the rest of the 4th of July vlog, The Hike. Uh-oh, it looks parking. busy. That's one way. Are there parking? Oh, there are parking spots. Oh, yeah. that's good. Okay, I'm glad that there's parking spots and I'm also glad that it looks like there's no gate, which means no gate equals you can leave at any time. So this parking lot here is um, not one that we've been to before. We've taken this hike before, but uh, we parked in a different location and it was about two miles longer. So we're shaving some miles off, but no elevation. So that means that this is just... Going to be an assault to the senses because we haven't been hiking in quite some time. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> when we get to the top, we're gonna welcome be, our food. It'll be worth it once we're up there, but... I'm gonna try not to complain. I'm not sure if I already said this. This is also the landing site of the hang gliders that uh, jump off of Poo Poo Point. <laughs> the ones that jump from Poo Poo. And I don't know what that is over there, but I see like a, a, like a bunch of stairs and everything, like a huge lookout tower or something. That does look neat. But uh, bathroom and then... Uh, oh, by the way. Are the bathrooms bad? If I didn't have to go. Oh no. Like touch nothing and use your leg muscles for, for me anyway. Oh. It's horrible. You, gross. It's, it's, it's beyond horrible. <laughs> it's a nightmare. We could be here all day. I'm sure you can get back from the scary bathrooms and it won't be down yet. Yeah, I don't know about that. Well, I've been to the bathrooms and back and I didn't think they were that bad, but I didn't have to pee either. And there's still hang time up there. Holy cow. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I had to go to the bathroom, but I didn't have to poo. Oh. I didn't have to poo a poo poo. I only had Why to. Why did you go down there? I, you didn't have to pee. <laughs> sorry. I, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Apparently, I wasn't. Do you guys remember in Canada when we hiked one time and she was ready and I was still getting ready? Oh, and yeah. she's like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then I was walking behind the camera going. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we haven't been in a hike forever. Are you excited? Um, you don't seem to be overly excited. Well, because we've we've done poo poo and poo poo is not. This is one of the only hikes that we've done that we will have done twice. Yeah, and I mean when we did it the first time, it was just like, well, this is nice. It's not a great hike, but this will be different. I so, am looking forward to it because it's getting us out and. Uh, I'm looking forward to like Mount Rainier at sunset. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the sunset part of it too. Exciting hikes to me are like the the epic view. Like rattlesnake climbing. would be better. Like to me, these are like I don't know. It's a low key hike, and it's fine. I like it, but I really, really, really enjoy the like. Mount size. And All like right, Shania Twain, that don't impress me needle much. Needle point where you're like, <laughs> where you, when you get to the top, you're just like, oh my god, look what I've done. Not, well, this is cool. Still up there. This is the first resting bench, and we haven't even done anything yet. Essentially, this elevation that you see. Is the only elevation that we've had so far. <laughs> oh wow. The map is gone. Wow. It's a half a map. Chirico. There you go. Trail. Ah. Do you have my leash? Oh, I forgot it in the car. You need to go back. Oh, yeah. I feel how warm this is from everybody's oily hands. Ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> but it's nice and smooth. Alright, so it starts out like this. And then it gets steeper. This is beautiful. This makes me happy. And they say that after you get up here just a little ways, the traffic from behind us dies out. It fades into the distance. Huh? It fades into the distance. Yes, yes it does. <laughs> I 
hands you oh that is death and it stinks very much warning the following video clip shows death and decay of a woodland deer and may be disturbing to some viewers if you are sensitive to this kind of material skip ahead to six minutes 30 seconds viewer discretion is advised hands you oh that is death and it stinks very much wow look at all the maggots that's disgusting oh they're falling out of it even how many people have been up here to look at it? okay if you guys are sensitive uh, I think that you should probably give them a lot of notice before you do this because it's nasty whoa people don't have a stomach for that the maggots are falling out of it onto the ground <gasps> down here oh my god that's nasty wow that is nothing but maggots that's disgusting but huh. that's that's how things decompose all right i'm gonna all right, I want to be sick. Back up before I get... Dude, the maggots are rolling down the hill. That's nasty. I mean, literally. Ugh. So when you smell that, it's not necessarily... I thought it was a port of toilet at yeah. first. I was right. <sighs> yeah, you were. Oh, that was disgusting. <sighs> now God, I got to... The air is so, so sweet now. <laughs> Whose idea was this? all your idea oh great my until idea. we get up there and it's awesome and then it's my idea <laughs> i see how this works all right it was my idea yeah oh, was it it was oh okay well i don't like your idea right I now i said it last year too and then we were like oh yeah we should have done that well but i'm glad we're doing it i'll be gladder when we get to the top right now this it's uh very hot out and then well for us it's very hot our own heat trying to well, those are just excuses. Yeah. We're out of shape. That's the big thing. Well, we are. Angie always hugs the biggest tree, the first big tree she finds. Well, she doesn't hug it. She just becomes one with the history and the power and everything. The power of the tree. That one called to me. And it called you? Yeah. I guess it's about that time of year. Do you guys remember when we went to Point Defiance Park and we walked the trails back there? Yeah, because that was our anniversary. Oh. That's how I... And we found. I remember what time of year to find them. <laughs> and we found ghost pipes. These are not mushrooms, and they are not plants. They do not need photosynthesis or light to exist. And that's why when people see them, they try to take them and grow them themselves. And that's why that can't happen, is because there's oh my a God, very, the mosquitoes very. Mosquitoes are horrible. Very, very delicate balance between um, just the way that they live with their their root it's not a root system but however they live i don't know i'm not a botanist but that's amazing i thought it was a bunch of like toilet paper i'm like wait a second yeah, no. you're like, oh. and then you're oh. like oh <laughs> yeah that's oh cool. that's so cool okay feeling very lightheaded right now i got up too fast Whew. Walk slow so the mosquitoes can't catch you you mean walk fast so the mosquitoes can't catch you well, they, they're like following you but they can't land right now so no. okay, okay. So you get to rest well, I'm glad there aren't any svelte mosquitoes so because far. I'm not svelte myself. <laughs> so far. Oh man, it is sure pretty though. Oh wow. Just when I thought the need for sunglasses was gone. Oh look at that, it's like all dark and ominous back there. And... That's where the ghost is. Well that is where the ghost is. Oh, there she the, goes. Remember the first time that we found these? And yeah, we were like so I was like, scared. oh my god, that's you're nightshade. Like, like, what are you doing? Oh, huckleberries, by the way. I've been eating them since I was just a wee bairn. <laughs> You've been eating them since you were a wee bairn. Oh, it's sour. Okay. Yep, pretty sour. Yum. You're so gonna love excited. them. Come back. Ooh, he's gonna pee on me. Ew. He peed on me. Ew. <laughs> That was gross. <laughs> you always get peed on by snakes. Oh God, that's nasty. Smell I don't want to smell that. It's it just was funny how that thing scared you though. You like jumped. Can we see Rainier from here? Is that what this is? Well, yeah, it was something moving on the ground that I didn't put into motion, so. Oh yeah, there's Rainier. Oh, look at that. That's a beauty, eh? Okay, so we're not there yet. We were just down over the bluff there, but look at that. <sighs> That's beautiful. 
We're right there with that blue dot off to the left, right here. Oh, look. The blue arrow. Oh, look, look. What, what? Oh, wow. The vulture. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Two oh, two of them. Oh, Three, no. four, five. Uh-oh. Apparently, we're not going to make it. <laughs> it is very pretty. You have wild foxglove and not wild plants. <laughs> I wonder if somebody, like, gave somebody a bouquet or something up here, and they're like, I don't like you anymore, and tossed it, and they grew. <laughs> We've had ants now, maggots, snakes. There's so many ants. Just doing their ant thing. Doing their ant business. Wow, they have quite the colony. Yeah, they do. It goes right. all the way over there. Oh, does it? Follow the root. Follow the, oh yeah, you can actually see the dark line. Wow, guys. Hey, you're out here in your own habitat, in your own space. I will not disturb you. you get close to my house, I'm spraying you. It's like a highway. It's an ant highway. Coming and going. Typically, it's always a good sign when you see the trail in front of you and you don't see anything but blue sky on the other side of the trail. I mean, unless it's a switchback and it goes up. I guess there's a possibility there too. And it's starting to get a little breezy. The mosquitoes, if you stay in one spot for any length of time, they like to come and snack on you. So with the breeze here, this is really nice. Holy cow. No way. Is this it? <clears throat> hey. Holy crap. Oh, is this it? Oh, yeah. Woohoo. Oh. Wow. I wonder if that's that same hang glider. <laughs> so, when we were up here before, the trail that we came in on was down around that building to the left. Yeah. Oh. Ooh wee. So I've done some studying. Right down below us is Issaquah. Issaquah. Over there, where all the buildings are, is Bellevue. So that's where we're going to be looking tonight for the fireworks show. We got a picnic table at the top. Looks like we might be by ourselves, so we still got a ways to go. Time-wise, yeah, and that's where the, this is where the people run, right off the edge of the cliff. Bye. You just missed one too. I don't know. I think that's that same one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've made it to the very top here at the picnic table. See that uh, picnic table right here? We're here. Picnic table. Woo! We made it. Yay! on the edge of the world and we have one sandwich to rule them all <laughs> oh two sandwiches to rule them out did you put i love you on yours too no i did not oh oh i love you oh you have having a hike day <laughs> We've had an interesting uh, occurrence of events since the uh, time lapse, <laughs> and since I did the, the other stuff over there, uh, there was a paraglider over here that actually went over the edge. You guys probably can't see it. Uh, it's a bad jump. <laughs> yeah, his uh, chute caught the wind and kind of took him before he was ready, and and it's probably what a good half hour for oh, him to make it back up. Maps would have been beautiful for sunset. No. Oh well, actually not really because look at what the camera does. Oh, it doesn't look very good there. That's no, weird. it doesn't. Usually it looks is. better in the camera. Typically it does, but tonight it did not. So <laughs> I don't know how that worked out. 
but uh, we, we did a, uh, a head count, and unless more people have arrived, there are approximately 60 of our closest friends up here. <laughs> so, so much for uh, trying to uh, get away from people. Well, you guys aren't really going to be able to see this. I'll shut up for a second. But we've got stuff on the lake down here, all around the lake. A big show has started over here. And if Bellevue, it's 10 o'clock right now, so if Bellevue does one, which will be right over in this area here. Got these little shows around the lake, and then you've got the big ones there. All oh, the little people are like, oh, yeah. those are the Swansons. <laughs> <laughs> this one's got to be put on by the seat. Yeah, it's pretty big. And it's constant too. Yeah, There's like, no lulls. If you're going to have a good fireworks show, it needs to be something that constantly entertains. Where did it go? So all you can see is the lights of people getting ready to take off. A little bit of lights of the city, probably blurry because I can't focus. Yeah, everybody's clearing out and we're out of here. And like Angie says, we're out of here like I heard the turtles in a windstorm. This is a completely new experience. Hiking in the dark. Wow. I'm just gonna watch for roots. Gotta watch for animals. It, there are so many people up here, and I don't even worry about any animals. Bear's gonna come out and eat us. Just say, hey, bear. Yeah, hey, bear. Hey, bear. I'm your next meal, so please make it quick. All right, so once again, I will let you guys know when you can start watching. We're gonna look at the deer again at night. Warning the following video clip shows death and decay of a woodland deer and may be disturbing to some viewers. If you are sensitive to this kind of material, skip ahead. Viewer discretion is advised. We're going to look at the deer again at night just to see if... Nope. They're still coming down the hill. Oh, look. It's a grasshopper. Cricket? A cricket, yeah. Do they yeah. eat them? Yeah. Mm, Probably. So stinky. It is stinky. Well, there's like... Oh, and the ants are out too. Oh wow, the maggots have moved. Oh, gross. They're all in the chest cavity now. Oh. Wow, they're just falling off continuously. They're so gross. We just had two groups of hikers walk right past this and didn't even know it was there. I don't know how you can't know this is here because like, the smell is something else. <laughs> wow, you can hear them. Yeah, look at all the maggots in the oh. top part too, in the fur. Wow. I got beetles up there too. <laughs> so grody. All right, that's enough of that. Ugh, okay. Yeah, look. Look at them all. Gross. Ugh, I feel dirty now. Okay, you guys can start watching again. I picked up two bottles on the way down that were not ours. We are back to the truck. It does not look like it's been broken into, which is great. It's always a concern of mine. And let's see, we got all right, lights back where they belong. Take my backpack off, and I'll tell you guys, the best thing about taking your stuff off, or the best thing to take off, is what Angie's doing right now. Your shoes after a long hike. It's so dusty, and it's like... <laughs> dusty, sweaty... <laughs> that was fun. Maggoty. Okay, well that was gross, but that was Dude, fun. Dude, we saw a dead deer, we saw a mouse, we saw ghost <laughs> pipes, yep. we saw... I saw a an squirrel. elk on the way here. She saw an elk it. on the way here. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't see it. Um, we saw 
a couple they, different birds. A dark eyed junco. A dark eyed junco, which Angie says is the same type the same that type were that, in their uh, yeah, gazebo. Fit. What else? We uh, saw other things, other animals. I, I had a moth in my face. Repeatedly. Yeah. That was funny. Over it and over. Loved you. It's just it a, was like, it's a night butter. <laughs> it's a night butterfly. Those are night butterfly kisses. <laughs> All right, Your let's get. Your glasses are fogging up. I'm, I, that's because I'm sweating my my balls off. Yeah. Look, we're steaming up the windows. All right. Oh, <laughs> shit, you have the keys? No, that's your department. I don't get scared when you do that. Right here. Uh, one day, it's going to freaking happen. Well, you did lose Con your phone that one time. Oh yeah. Well, the same trip that we Saw the had ghost the, pipe. the ghost pipes. Yeah. Okay, getting home. Good night, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. And then just like that, here we are. It is a new day. It is the 5th of July, the day after the 4th, 2024. In case anybody's, you know, keeping track. Oh, what an awesome experience it was last night to have that night hike and and the fireworks. We, uh, we really enjoyed seeing the fireworks from up there, hearing all the different booms and everything was also kind of surreal, it was kind of neat. But uh, anyway, so it's back to the grind today on the way to pick up Phoenix, and I've got two appointments, but it's Friday! No, oh shoot, no it's not. Is it? What day is it? Oh, it is, it's Friday. Yes! Wow, this week went really fast, and only four days left. And I said that I was gonna start the vlog off the next day, talking about um, day 5,000, and I don't think I did that. I've been dropping the ball all over on this day 5,000 thing. We're busy. We are very, very busy constantly. There's all of these things to do. Things you guys see, things you guys don't see. So, with that being said, day 5,000, we are planning on a walk in the park at uh, 10 a.m. Uh, everybody meets at the park, at the tractor. The address is uh, available on the Web, or not the website, on the uh, Facebook group page. There's posts about it. There's the event. Uh, we're going to walk around the lake at 10.30. If you're not able to walk around the lake, that's okay. Go ahead and hang out for a little bit. We'll have kind of like a, a, a meet and greet kind of like right after that. Uh, same place at the park. And then at 2 p.m., we're going to be going bowling at Bolero. It's our uh, dive bowling alley here in Lakewood. Again, address is available there. And then uh, that lasts until about four o'clock. And then at seven, uh, we are going to be having the dinner at the Ram there in Lakewood. Um, everything is first come, first serve. Uh, except for the dinner, um, priority will be given to out of town guests. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how, how that's playing out. And we're gonna have name tags available. Uh, those should be coming via Amazon here in, uh, in a day. And yeah, so that's kind of a wrap on, on not a wrap on that, but that's, that's what's happening. That's, that's the skivvy on it. I'm so excited. Day 5,000, 5,000 days of vlogging. It was freaking crazy. It's ridiculous, quite honestly. So we are back at uh, Pick and Pull today to try and get a nut for this car that I was working on. Um, I got a bolt the other day. Oh wow, I should have parked there. Um, I got a bolt the other day and I didn't need the bolt. I need the nut. And the nut apparently is the uh, starter nut that's up above and I didn't see that, so here we are. All right, I was able to locate the same Chevy Trailblazer I got the bolt from, but I need the nut, so. So I'm gonna see if I can't uh, facilitate getting to it. Oh my gosh, what a pain. Where is it at? Actually, this is not the same one because I ripped this off of the other one. I need the nut from above the starter. Oh my gosh, what a pain. So I got the starter out, I got the nut out, and then I dropped the nut. So it's like, oh my gosh. This is not the same one, this is a different one. I got tired of looking for it and wasting time. So here, I got it. Let's get out of here. No time to look for Cherokee stuff today, but their selection is like always changing. Because that little Fiero, it's gone. 
it's like everything here has changed wow well i got that nut installed on the starter and the customer came back he wasn't here but he came back and uh he said i could get you a canopy and i'm like yeah that's okay i'm like can i do it in the yard under the tree is that okay and he said yeah so here i am the shade of a tree oh so nice so very nice oh my gosh it's so warm today all right got to get to it uh water pump that's what i'm doing so uh water pump is back behind the uh, water pump pulley it's right back here so i gotta take the belt off the fan off and most likely uh possibly the shroud as well even though i'm in shade it is still very very warm outside um and it doesn't look like i've done anything but i did replace the water pump you can see that shiny stuff right back there See right there? That's a shiny new water pump right there. And that's a brand new belt right there. Customer owned parts. Customers own parts. And uh, just starting to uh, do the initial fill. I'll start it up, burp it out, and then we should be done. It's warm, have I mentioned that? All right, so a quick trip back home. Unload and reload. And we're off to the last job of the week, last job of the day. It could be just a brake inspection or it could be a brake inspection, a brake inspection of pads and rotors. It just depends on what they need. So put it into the GPS. It's 237 right now. It should be arriving there right on time, I hope. And uh, yeah, we'll get her done. Our last job of the day is bringing us to uh, the city of Silicon once again. Um, we're not gonna be going down to the water, but we are gonna be traveling through this nice piece of green space. This is nice. Makes me want to go back to the mountains again and hike or camp. Oh boy, I am feeling severely underdressed right now for this neighborhood. <laughs> oh my. Wow. All right, well, I am who I am. This is what I do. So here we go. And just like that, the day is done. I'm still editing. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I need to go to bed. Happy haunting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you didn't see the disgusting stuff. If you didn't want to see the disgusting stuff, I'd try to give as much warning as possible. But that's it. All right, guys. Good night. See you tomorrow.